intuitive tarot love. This reading today is going to be for Virgo for September 8th to September 15th. This will not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If there's an extended version of this reading, it will be in the description box below. Also guys, I will be giving away free personal readings every week. In order to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and make a comment, and then I will go ahead and comment under your comment and let you know if you have won. Okay, let's get started. It's for Virgo for this week. And happy birthday to all the Virgos out there. What messages for Virgo? We have enchantment with surrender and release. One more card for Virgo with self-acceptance. We have soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So I feel like some of you could have encountered a soulmate here, but you are not believing it. It's like with enchantment here, this could be something so amazing and, and just magical and mystical and strange to you that you cannot accept this. And you also won't just let go of all of your fears and doubts and just embrace the connection And with self-acceptance, some of you might not even believe that you deserve this connection or worthy of this connection. It's just not believable to you. And so you're not accepting it. But with enchantment, it's like, just go with the flow here. Live a little. Embrace this tap into that side of you when you were a kid and things were just magical. So with soulmate here in the background, if some of you are connecting with someone, then it's definitely a soulmate connection and you have support as well here for this connection. So the message here is let go and go with how you're feeling. Go with the flow. Let go of your fears and your doubts here and just embrace this. If it's something beautiful, then let it be beautiful. Do not be negative towards this. Okay, Virgo, let's clarify. Swords. What messages for Virgo? The Six of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. The Lovers. And this is at the center here. Hmm. 
the King of Cups, the Devil, Three of Wands. Um, two cards came out, Seven of Swords with the Nine of Cups. And we have the Seven of Cups in the background here with the Four of Wands. So definitely a really strong connection that you guys are having here, but you are definitely confused about what to do. Okay. Yeah, with the lovers in the center, you know that this connection is here, but it's also something that you don't know what decision to make. Okay, so in the past, we have the fool over here with the four of pentacles and the devil. So I'm feeling that in the past, you either you wanted to start something new here or you did start something new. But the reason for this is because you're feeling stuck in the situation that you were in. Firefly the Four of Pentacles. So you've wanted a change. I have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Okay, so some of you could have been in a, a committed relationship and you were feeling stuck and trapped in that. Could have even been, you know, betrayed. This person could have um, hurt you in some way. Or even ghosted you if you were in, if you weren't married or something like that. But you felt trapped in this situation. And then with the devil here, this could have been a toxic situation for you. So it could have been something abusive or you could have felt like there's no way out of this. There could have been obsession or addiction in the relationship or of the relationship. Someone could have been obsessed or addicted with the other person. But either way, this situation was not good for you and you wanted a way out. You wanted a new beginning. We have the King of Pentacles. So some of you definitely could have been married since I had the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles come out. Um... But I'm seeing here that you wanted a change with this situation. Okay, so in the present, I have the King of Swords with the Lovers and the Three of Wands. So some of you could have definitely ended that situation. Because now you're the, Queen of, the King of Swords, so... So you're not having it. You're cutting out anything that's not for you. And it's not about the emotions anymore. It's all about what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. So you're not settling here. You are making decisions solely on what you deserve. And with the lovers here, you are definitely making some decisions right now. Three of Wands, so you've been working hard towards something and it's like now I'm waiting because it's like you built up the courage to make the decisions here and you're finally doing it and you're like okay let's see what happens clarify the okay we have the queen of swords with the ace of wands so it's feeling like a new energy here like Either you're taking that opportunity right now to search for you, your queen of swords. So king and queen, now that you're in this energy, you're searching for that other person to match your energy. 
and you've started to take action towards that. Which makes a lot of sense because if you have changed and your energy is different, then you're going to attract this person here. So you're going to find your match. And with the Ace of Wands, you've definitely taken that action. So you're making changes here. You're making changes towards what you want for yourself. Clarify the lovers. So the hermit. Clarify the lovers. We have the three of cups with the queen of cups and the moon. Yeah, so you're definitely still confused about the situation not knowing what to do not knowing what to do i'm not feeling third party but the three of cups is here so that could definitely be the situation for some of you but it's like you're really emotionally connected to this person here but you don't know where this leads So it could be even though I'm happy about this and I'm ready to make something happen, I don't know if this is the right move. You know, I'm kind of just going with how I feel here and I'm not sure. Clarify the three of bonds. The tower. Yeah, you might even be expecting like something bad to happen. So you might have a negative outlook on this connection. So in the future, I have the Six of Pentacles with the King of Cups, Seven of Swords, and Nine of Cups. So it's like moving forward, you can get emotional fulfillment from the situation it's like once again here's the king of cups so there's a lot of of love and it's intense here and you can definitely benefit from the situation emotionally but we also have the seven of swords here why is there seven of swords The Two of Pentacles with the Five of Wands. I feel like this is just you being caught up in your head about this situation. So even though it seems promising to you, even though there is the connection and you feel the love and you're seeing how amazing it can be, you're still over here with like juggling between emotional fulfillment and deception like is this too good to be true is this person hiding something from me are there secrets are there things I don't know about or is this is this just what it is is this just a nine of cups okay Virgo I'm gonna get deeper into this reading um, clarify things for you here and then also get some advice for you see the outcome so thank you so much for joining me Virgo and join me in the extended if you are interested thank you so much <laughs>